All right, we're back with the uh, 2016 Toyota Tacoma. And last video on the Tacoma, I mentioned how I kind of deodorized the uh, truck. It wasn't bad, but it, it just, it kind of did smell like something was wet. And then I remembered there was a recall for the rear light, the rear tail light, top uh, tail light on a double cab, double cab Toyota. So uh, the Toyota Tacoma. So check if you have a 2016 to 2019 Toyota Tacoma. I will put the recall postcard in this video. Get it, get it, get it fixed. I've heard people that have not had the leak and then it acted up maybe a year or two later. And basically it's a seal a gasket around the uh, taillight that's leaking. What I did, I had two heavy storms in the past couple days and I noticed... Uh, the back here right up here in the headliner was a little damp it wasn't dripping it was just damp so the water was getting in and you can kind of pull this down but careful you'll kind of bend it you can pull it down and feel there was no standing water it it's just that this was damp and you can't really see it but there if you can see that you can see the outline of some of the water as it pulls it comes in right from the light and it kind of just pulls there and it gets into the thing it hasn't dripped down or anything onto the seat i don't see any rings at all there i removed the uh, rear head rest just so i could see out the window yeah you can see that that's what you're gonna get i don't know if they're gonna replace the headliner it's no no mbd no big deal to me no 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 problem at all i don't care i just want to stop the leaking sure i could probably do it myself but I'm not going to do it since it's free. It's just a matter of me get my butt in there and let them do it. Put the new gasket on and uh, be done with it. I'll probably remove my little rear camera to make it easier. That's bolted in, so they got to remove all this stuff. I think they popped the headliner down, and there's two 10 millimeter bolts. Holding the light on. I put tape around, uh, just carpenter tape, because it was pouring in last night. I'm just trying to minimize any water going into the light right there so it is an issue i didn't think i had it until i was thinking wait a minute i even said in my video you can clean the car and deodorize it but you should find the source of the problem and there lo and behold it was right in front of me i was just lazy never got around to going to the toyota dealership because that's always like going to the dentist to me uh, but today i called and they were very nice very friendly set me up on a schedule they're booked out a couple weeks so i can live with it sure you could probably do it yourself you can buy the gasket, but eh, why not? Just take it in, sit there for an hour and get it done and get out of there and be done with it. And then you're good to go. So my recommendation, if you do have a, one of these trucks, just check the headliner like I did touch it. It doesn't feel damp after a car wash or a storm. And then just check and call your Toyota. You can actually just call your service shop, your local Toyota service guy, and just say, hey, Here's my VIN number. Everything is VIN related. You just need the VIN number because all the recalls, all the recalls for your vehicle is in the system. So they, uh, the lady typed it out very nice right in front of me on the phone. And she said, yeah, there is a recall on that. Come on in. And it's a real simple fix. You know, and I think they put the gasket in and inside. They also put some sealer, some gob, the liquid gasket as well, just to minimize any leakage. So, yeah, I don't know. Always good to do it. Just let them do it. It's just a matter of convenience. But again, you want to keep your vehicles today. Cars are too expensive. Nobody has jobs. Employment number, unemployment numbers are through the roof. The layoff numbers are through the roof. Every industry is being laid off across the board. We are in some dark times now. I think we're in a full recession right now. It may get a lot worse. May have a lost decade like we did in the 70s where nothing goes up. There's no jobs and people are just begging for work. Uh, it's going to get bad, guys. So if you have cars, you have YouTube. For the good and bad of YouTube, think of it as YouTube University. You can watch a lot of stupid stuff, but you can learn a lot as well. People post some useful videos, how to fix stuff, how to do simple maintenance on your vehicle without going broke and hurting yourself. You can change all the fluids. Keep these vehicles running, 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 running. Just take care of them. Oh, my God, an hour a day, you know, or well, not a day, an hour here and there. Uh, hour day would be too much. Uh, hour here and there just to fix stuff you notice, you know, replace the windshield wipers, change the fluids, you know, 
change the power steering fluid, change the oil every six months, you know, 5,000 miles or six months. Don't go to that 10,000 mile BS because you will get sludge in your engine and then sludge will help kill your motor and then you're done. Uh, differential fluid and antifreeze, uh, coolant fluid, uh, power steering I said, uh, differential, what's transfer case, tranny if you know what you're doing, but there's YouTube videos on it. You can learn how to do all this stuff. Uh, just take care of your trucks, keep the tires inflated, coat them with stuff to keep them from dry rotting and the UV destroying them. You know, check the pressure, rotate them, it's no big deal. You can do that with jack stands uh, and save money there. So there you go, that's my little tip for today. Get this, any, any, um, any recall stuff you get from Toyota. Lesson learned is just go get it done. Get it done, you know, if there's no sense of urgency, just get on the schedule because it may be a few weeks like mine is. I'm going to be a few weeks out to get in, but no big deal. And then we'll get it resolved and move from there. And again, like I did, I just had a tape deck just to minimize the water. And it, like I said, it's not on the seats. The dog's comfortable. Uh, I'm looking at the seats again. I don't see anything. So we kind of just got absorbed in here. And again, it is a truck, so I'm not too worried. I just do not want it to rust. And I put my hand up in there. I don't feel anything. So that's a good thing. Anyway, that's all I got. Get it fixed. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.